This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. From the time you were convicted, seven years from the time you were released, you can't have more than two. Then, of course, misdemeanors are manager approved. We look at your work history. We, uh, you'll document five years of work history. We're going to verify the last three. We're looking to see if you made at least 10000 in each calendar year that we are verifying, which is 2020, 2021, can, 2022. Can, 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 I, you can, I, can I stop you? Can I, can I, can I stop you? <laughs> okay, well, I, you, you were researching, so I gave the information. Yeah, this... this. We're going to be talking to Stevens Transport today. Stevens Transport offers a CDL training course. So it's for drivers that don't have their CDLs and they're looking for a company sponsored uh, CDL training. Stevens Transport is one of those companies that offers CDL training for people that don't have their CDLs. Today, we're about to get into a conversation to see what all that's needed as far as uh, what where you got to go for schooling. Is there any paid training? Uh, how long would the training be? Uh, if you was to, uh, if you was to like flunk a couple of times, are you able to, you know, continue training to, you know, so that you will be able to get your CDL at the end of the rainbow? How much is the training if, in case you decide to leave, quit? or get terminated, or even if you don't get your CDLs, if you're responsible for the balance of the training. So without further ado, everybody, the MTC uh, company CDL training today, again, is gonna be Stevens Transport. Good morning. It's Marshall with Stevens Transport. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing? Uh, are you the person to talk to or to get a little bit more information about the uh, the CDL training? Me and the buddy are interested in getting our CDLs, and we're doing our research uh, to see which mm -hmm. you know, see which company. How can I help you, sir? Oh, what, what, what part of the world do you and your buddy living in? Okay, because well, in order to us. Uh, you any type of uh, answer. Uh, our, our training is based off of what area you, you live in and what school we assign, and each school has something a little bit different. So Okay, awesome. Where well, I'm, well, I'm from out of Ohio, and... Okay, my, then we would send you to Colorado. Now, Stevens is an over-the-road refrigerated trucking company, so we're not necessarily a school. We're a company that train you, and when we train, we train to hire. So if we train to hire, if we can hire you, then we'll train you. So um, we are over-the-road refrigerated trucking company. We deliver food, drink, and medicine, which is recession-proof freight. That's stability. We go to distribution centers, first with your mom and pop, and we deliver 95% no-touch freight. So the most you would be doing is driving. Drivers are out three weeks at a time, earning three days at home. So you would have to be okay with the job, which is 21 days away from your home base with three days at home. Then, of course, when we look at our candidates, we look at your driving record, your criminal background, and your work history. If you don't have any disqualifier in any of those, then we are able to move forward. When it comes to your driving record, we look to see if you have any open fines, payment plans, deferred adjudications. You can't have any open business with the court system. You can't have any fines that are uh, that you haven't paid. Uh, we look to see if you are a speeder. Do you show disregard for the rule of law of the road? can't have too many speeding tickets in, in a certain period of time. We also look to see if you've had any accidents. You can't be, you got to be a year away from an asphalt accident. Um, if you have not at fault, we ask for an uh, accident report. We look to see if you have any DUIs or DWIs. They have to be five years old. can't have a warrant. We look to see um, 
If you held a driver's license for one full year or more, how many suspensions have you had? Then, of course, we also look to see at your uh, criminal background if you've ever been arrested. Do you have any felonies or misdemeanors? Felonies can only be seven years from the time you were convicted, seven years from the time you were released. You can't have more than two. Then, of course, misdemeanors are manager approved. We look at your work history. We, uh, you'll document five years of work history. We're going to verify the last three. We're looking to see if you made at least 10000 in each calendar year that we are verifying, which is 2020, 2021, can, and 2022, can, can, can and whatever I, you earn for 2023. Can I stop you? Okay, well, you were researching, so I gave the information. Yeah, this, yeah, a lot, lots to take in. Uh, the key, well, I want to touch on a, a few things. Uh the ten thousand dollars a year. Why are you guys looking for that? Yeah. Let's say let's let's say, because well, you know we we look to see that you've earned a verifiable living, that you've held down a job, that you've actually gone to work. Even if you made if ten thousand is minimum wage for the year, so even if you were making minimum wage, you went to work and you made your money, you showed a regard for going to work and making an income that was verifiable and legal. So that's the reason why they ask you that. It's also a measuring stick of, you know, we have uh, trucks that cost more than some people's home, and then you would be driving millions of dollars of freight. So they most certainly are going to have a measuring stick on whether or not you're you're uh, certifiable and verifiable and stable. It's just a it's a measuring stick. Oh, okay. Um, kind of kind of weird on that part because I I mean you know I. I mean, at one point in my life, you know, I was an at-home dad. So, I mean, so I that so I, I, I would be disqualified. I would have been, I would have been disqualified for that, even if I was an at-home dad and, you know, my significant other was, you know, was the breadwinner at the time. Yes, sir. We wow. have to have three years of verifiable income. And I know it sounds strange, but, you know, I have to say this same thing to women who have been at home all their life raising their children. And now they want to get out and start a career. Yeah. Yeah. Um, OK. Well, basically, you know, uh, that that's all well and fine. I, that, that's a lot to take in. And I definitely will take that back with me and and and, and you know, and chew on that. But uh the, my my question centers around getting getting my CDL. So, uh, would I? So, if I you know decide to come with you guys to get my CDL, you say I will go out to be sent out to Colorado uh, for yes. the schooling. Yes. How would I get? How would we, I get out there? We try to hide. Well, first of all, we're trying to hire you. And even if we decide that we can verify you and get you in for hiring, Stevens doesn't also, number one, pay you during your classroom time, which is going to be three weeks long. And then, of course, there's a four-day orientation. They're not going to pay you because they're going to sponsor the cost of your tuition, which would be $5,995. As long as you sign and work your one-year work agreement, Stevens will come along and they will share in the cost of tuition with you. Now, get into school. If you need a way to get to school, they'll provide you with a bus ticket. We put it on a promissory note. There's a DOT physical and drug test that has to be taken. We'll take the cost of that. We'll put that on a promissory note. There's lodging provided for you when you get there. It's $1,000 for the three weeks you're there. We'll put that on a promissory note. What, Anything what, we put what, on a promissory what, what, note what, 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 I'm, I'm sorry for cutting you off, but what is all this promissory note? It, what, money I got to pay promissary back or something? Up, up. Yes, sir. I was about to tell you that before you cut me off. I'm um, sorry. Anything we put on a promise note will come out of your paycheck 90 days after your employment at a rate of $25 a week until that's paid back in full. Your first payroll deduction will be for your tuition because, as I said, Stevens will share in the cost of tuition, which you will contribute $25 a week. I'm sorry, twenty two eighty eight a week towards your tuition. You would have a weekly payroll deduction of twenty six ninety two. Okay, so like so close to 30. But is, is we put you through training. We, we we try to verify you and see if we can hire you. And if we can hire you, we put you through training. Instead of you having to come up with the money up front, 
of almost uh, $6,000 for your own training, pay, paying for your own training. We kind of somewhat put that on layaway. We defer it. We let you get your training done. And then once you complete your training, we then come along and we offer you a job. If you sign and work that one-year work agreement, then we share in the cost with you for the year of your work agreement on your tuition. If you decide you want to work with us past that year, we'll continue to keep sharing with you until your tuition is paid in full. But Stevens makes it easier for you to get not have to come up with a bunch of money up front. So anything we put on a promissory note, you will pay back 90 days after your employment at a rate of $25 a week until that's paid back in full. And then, of course, twenty six ninety six is what you'll pay for your tuition. So first uh, first uh, deduction you'll see from your paycheck other than taxes will be twenty six ninety two for your tuition. 90 days after your employment, you'll see your second payroll deduction. So payroll deduction will go up to fifty one ninety two, and you'll be paying on tuition plus your promissory note. Because as you know in life, nothing in life is free. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm I'm a little bit confused. So the 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 if I decide to stay with you for the first year, uh I will still have to come out of the pocket and paying my tuition while only you guys is just is just paying the other half. Like if I finish out the if I finish out the year with you guys, uh I, you I was take up the rest of the remainder of the tuition uh -oh. with you and you continue to keep paying on it wherever it is that you work. Oh, okay, so I'm so I'm still responsible. So it's half and half, basically. So basically, whatever tuition at twenty six ninety two, you at the end of the year, you're not going to have half of your tuition paid. That's based on a three year uh, stretching it out over three years. So, so at the end of the work agreement, if you decide that you're no longer interested in working for Stevens, you fulfilled your work agreement, then you take the remainder of your tuition and you go wherever it is you would like to work, and but you keep paying your tuition. Oh, if you decide. Even 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 if I fulfill the con even if I fulfill the contract after a year, sort of say the tuition the full tuition the full the full tuition is five thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars. Sweetie, if you sign a one year work agreement, Stevens will share in the cost with you. They will first of all, they I feel like they're doing a great favor. They're making it where you can get your tuition get your uh, CDL and you're, you, they're going to defer your tuition. So you don't have to pay that thousands, six thousand dollars up front. So for signing and working that one year work agreement, they say, hey, we're going to help you. We're going to contribute towards your tuition. We're going to give you twenty two dollars and eighty eight cents towards your tuition and you pay twenty six ninety two towards your tuition. Now, you work for us for a year. We'll do that for you. If you continued and decided you wanted to continue for Stevens, they will continue to keep contributing towards your tuition. We only ask you for a one-year obligation. If you decide at the end of your one year that you're best suited to go work somewhere else and you want to just take your uh, rest of your tuition and your CDL, you take tuition with you and you continue to keep making your tuition payments and work wherever it is that you're working or wherever it is you want to work because you fulfilled your one-year work agreement with us. Okay, so what if I, what what if I decide to leave beforehand? Uh, if you decide to leave year? beforehand and you break that great and you break that agreement, then your tuition is due in full immediately plus interest. So it's due in full immediately. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you say that uh, that you guys get me up there by by bus, right? What if I what if I decide to drive up there? Or drive out there? Would I get reimbursed? Way our program? No, you do not. We're we're investing in you, so I mean, we're putting a lot of money up front. So first of all, it would do you no good to drive all the way out there because once you, you work the program the way we have it set up, you go straight in for to your three weeks of training. From your three weeks of training, we then give you your second bus ticket at no charge to you. We feed you and we house you at no charge to you. We bring you straight from Colorado to Dallas to go through orientation. When you complete orientation, you start your over-the-road training. When you complete your over-the-road training, we get, you go through graduation. You get the keys to your very own truck. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. And we send you back home with your load. 
Oh, you get seven days downtime after graduation to be able to outfit your truck to your life and make it comfortable because that'll be your home away from home. That's your work environment. Once you complete your seven days of work environment, you start working as a solo driver. So uh, your first load cannot be your vehicle back home. Oh, OK. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So how how long would I have to how long would I be up there like for three weeks? What if? I, OK, so let's say okay, so let, the program three weeks long and then of course there is a four day orientation and then of course we have classes you can sign up every Monday so you want to pick a Monday that's going to work for you because as I have mentioned to you we do not pay you during that three weeks of schooling nor that four day orientation so you would have to be prepared that you would be about five weeks before you got to your first pay period. Okay so okay so my question is uh, what happens if I I get in a struggle mode and I'm not able to uh, pass my CD, you know, my, my CDL pass for my CDL. Do I have an opportunity to uh, come back, get some more training to pass? Or is this like a one and done or two and done? And even after that, uh, am I responsible for the, if you don't do that. Then you just, you're, you're, you get three times to try, and then after that, you'll be responsible for the bus ticket and the lodging. You won't be responsible for tuition, but you will have a promise. You will still be responsible for the promissory note. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I, I won't be hit with the with the training or anything like that, but I, I have to pay you guys back and get my way back home. Yes. For, oh, okay. Hello? Sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay, have you finished your question, sir? Because if you will go to stevenstransport.com to our website, um, they uh, will have some more uh, information about the schooling plus the application. Well, I'm, 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 actually, I was on the website. That will prompt me to make the call to ask the, to ask the questions. But, I mean, if I'm, I'm sorry if I'm taking up a lot of your time. I mean, this is all new to me. So, I mean, if, I mean, if you guys is busy, my, my bad. I mean, no, I, I, I was I, just... I, I, I was just I calling. I, I told you pretty much the whole program, um, but I, I just asked you: Do you have any more questions? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I only have a few more questions, if if that's okay. Okay, and if that would be oh, okay. Um, all right. So after af after I get finished and I do get my license, you say you will send me down to Dallas, Texas, and I, I mean Dallas, Texas, or Texas. I'm sorry if it was in Dallas. But you'll send me down to Texas. Then I will go out with uh with a trainer and everything, orientation and everything, and I will go out with a trainer uh, for additional training. Or would I just jump right into the truck after after I get down there after orientation? As I said before, once you complete your training, completing your CDL, Stevens will, at no charge to you with the second bus ticket, get you to Dallas, Texas, where you Ed, will go through a four-day orientation. During orientation, you take a series of safety classes, skill tests, go over your benefits, get a counselor and a senior driver trainer. Counselor will go over your schedule restitution for whatever we put on that promissory note and your tuition, so you know what's coming out of your check, what, when, and how, and how much, and then you'll go over your work agreement, sign your work agreement, you'll know what's in your work agreement and what's expected of you within 24 to 48 hours. You and that driver trainer start your over-the-road training behind the wheel where you got to get in 240 hours behind the wheel. This will take you five to six weeks long. You'll visit five regions of the country, train over two mountain passes. Your training city and in rural areas ought to get you comfortable. Driver trainer will teach you everything you need to know. When you complete that, you come back to Dallas. You go through a two-day grad class, and then you get the keys to your very own truck. You don't get to pick one, but one of those will get assigned to you. You'll get your first load, and we'll route you back to wherever it is you like to take your time off. You'll receive seven days of downtime be able to show off your truck to your family and friends if you like. Once you complete your seven days of downtime, then you start your over-the-road driving as a solo driver, earning 50 cents per mile, averaging between 2,600 to 3,000 miles a week. You then start earning between 1,300 to 1,400. That's before all payroll deductions. We also have what we call guaranteed weekly pay, which is $1,000. That is also a total before all payroll deductions. And so then, of course, um, we got benefits, major medical, dental, vision, life insurance, and a prescription card. And you can join the 401k after a year driving with us. We also have some other opportunities once you get some experience under your belt. Dedicated and regional routes. Those get you home more often. You're eligible for those 30 to 60 days after being solo. Then, of course, we have our contract division program. This is if you want to be your own boss, run your own business, then you can apply for that 30 days after being solo. 
Those guys have a team that caters to them to help you run your business successfully. They'll host some business classes for you, and you'll have some counselors to help you every step of the way. Contract division drivers are earning $1.16 per mile, plus a fuel surcharge. They can range anywhere from $0.30 to $0.40. Cents. Then, of course, we have our driver trainer position. It's like the person will help you get your 240 hours behind the wheel when they're training you to be the best solo driver you're going to turn out to be. They're mirroring to you the duties of being a driver trainer. If you decide you want to do that, you can apply for it six months after being solo. First year drivers are earning 70K. Of course, if you decide you want to be a driver trainer in six months, you can be in that 85,000 plus. If you want to be your own boss, run your own business, you can be in that 90 to 100,000 plus. That is everything we have to offer here. All right. Um, do I have to get my permit before I come to you guys? There is no need to get a permit before you go to Colorado because we send you to Colorado. It's one of our states that we have, that our schools that we have, that you can go to another, be licensed in another state, go to their state, obtain your CDL, go back to your home state, do a little paperwork, switch it back over into your home state. But you got to have a Colorado uh, permit to go with your CDL to get a class A. Okay, so I so I don't have to worry about getting a permit or anything like that. Okay, all right. Um, okay, well, thank you. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> lots, lots to digest, but thank you though. I I appreciate the time. You're welcome. Have a great day. All right, everybody. Stevens Transport. <laughs> Woo. I mean, I did not. L- let me start off by saying, I, I know you guys tell me, especially in the comment session, I, I know you guys get on me all the time. You know, they, you guys say, lock out, stop cutting people off, stop cutting people off. And I got you. And I, you know, I got a, you know, I got my, I, I got my conglomerate, you know, that, that kind of helped me along the way to, you know, to uh, hold off on my questions because it's like when 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 they say something, it triggers me right there to be like, hold up, wait, 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 hold up. But that I, I guess that's how I am because when I when 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 I'm in a conversation and somebody says something that triggers me to to rebuttal or or to ask a question i i get it i understand it don't get me wrong but this one right here man i i'm gonna be honest with you i i I, i'm not feeling i'm i'm not feeling the vibe that this recruiter gave me now if i was not looking to get my cdl and i was looking to get a job with stevens and and the vibe the energy that she was giving off during this conversation, I, I would I, I would put it at I would put this as a no for me. But I know there's a lot of people over at Stevens Transport that has success with Stevens Transport. And some of the people would be like, yo, they 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 are a good company. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they are. I'm I'm not gonna say they aren't a good company and I'm not going to say they are a good company. I'm just going to say that my feelings with the conversation that I had with this particular recruiter just didn't, just didn't rock with me. You know, I I, I don't don't know. I don't know. So, so uh, (laughs) she said so much that I can't even give you guys like key points of, of the conversation. Um, I what stuck out with me the most was the six thousand dollars tuition that we still eventually had to pay. She said, "Now you guys heard her. She said, if we don't fulfill the contract, because I guess we got to sign some type of contract." as well as a financial obligation because it will be coming out of our, out of our paycheck. But if we don't fulfill that year, like some companies be like, yo, drive for us like a year or, or 12 months or 13 months and we'll wipe the slate clean. That's not what I got out of here. After a year, we will still be paying 
into the six thousand uh, dollars at thirty dollars a week, meaning that you you're not gonna pay, you're not gonna be able to pay that whole six thousand dollars off in that first year. But Stevens Transport said that they will help you. They will continue to put half and half. You do thirty. We'll do like 60. Like it's like a 60 40 type deal. You pay 40%, we'll pay 60% type deal. Now, again, you get three times to try to get your license. Uh, whatever reason that you don't do it, you know, whatever struggles that you might have. That you don't do it. Now, listen, I don't understand why you wouldn't. It's an automatic truck. <laughs> I, I I don't understand why you wouldn't be able to pass and get your CDL in an automatic truck. Now, I drove a manual, which was a little bit more difficult because, you know, I had to back up in the manual. I had to drive in the manual. I had to do my skills in the manual. But you're in the automatic you should not have a problem getting your CDL in an automatic truck. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe some of you guys do, but I'm, I, I digress. I digress. All right. Shouldn't have a problem getting an automatic truck. Okay. Um, she said that. She also said that uh, if you don't pass. You're not responsible for the tuition, so I guess that's a good thing. You're not responsible for the tuition. You're only responsible for the lodge, I mean the lodge, the lodging, which is the hotel stay, and the bus ticket that they got you up there with. Now you have to find your way back. Now, let me explain something. She said that you don't have to worry about getting, you know, getting a rental car. Because they're going to give you another bus ticket to go down to Dallas for your orientation. Okay? So, not only that you have to ride from my area on a bus all the way to Colorado, down 70. I'm just saying, you might have to change over a couple of times when you on a bus. Then when you get there, okay? Let's hold on now. When you get there, you you do the training, you pass and all like that, bam, bam, boom. They'll send you by bus back down to Texas. Okay? From Colorado. Bro, you're going to be like, you're going to be greyhound out by the time you get down there like, yo. So I would, I would wholeheartedly suggest that you rent a car. You rent a car, you keep it for a couple of weeks, you pass, you go and rent another car, or you drop that car off, do the damn thing for a couple of weeks, rent another car to go down to Dallas, Texas, and then boom. I, I can't take no bus, bro. I mean, you can't, I, she said that, she, she said that we invest in you. Okay, I get that. I get that. You can't invest in a in a in a flight. <laughs> you can't invest in a flight. I mean, get get me a plane ticket to Colorado. I I will be there in about hours versus days. Come on now. Come on now. I look, I gotta end this session. All right. Um that was Stevens Transport. They do have a CDL school, um, as you heard, and she went over just about everything you need to know. I, I, I will probably say that's a good thing because she went over everything you need to know, all the way down to the leasing, which is a dollar ten cent a mile. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?